Hello and Namaste. This is Neeraj here once again and welcome back to my channel Financial Market Analysis Twist by Neeraj Shah. So in today's video, I would like to discuss uh, regarding that uh, exchange rate of uh, currency, U Indian rupees uh, against USD and uh, how it is, you know, uh, interrelated to inflation as well as with the market so you can say that the correlation or the uh, mutual interaction of uh, usd inr vis-a-vis -vis inflation vis-a-vis -vis stock market or the stock market vis-a-vis -vis usd inr that exchange rate so uh, request all of you to please if you before starting this i would just request that uh, you can please watch this video till the last to understand the every aspects and also if you like this uh, uh, video you please put a like and share it with the maximum friends and if you are not yet subscribed to my channel you please request you to subscribe so that uh, you can keep on watching and also push a notification button so that you can keep on watching many such interesting uh, unique uh, concepts which i come out regularly with and also i have a different format uh, uh, where it's a very nominal charge where i come out with the stock specific uh, uh, multi baker stock ideas and uh, it's called premium video series and each premium video is available only for 1000 rupees or 20 dollars whichever is uh, convenient for you and my description uh, you can contact me by email my email details are in the description box down below recently i have come out with the latest fifth premium video which is the most apt for this market like this so if anybody has not yet uh, uh, bought this video and if still interested in uh, in knowing about this multi stock idea in such a dicey market uh, you please send me the mails i will tell you the bank details and once you transfer thousand rupees or twenty dollars i will send you the customized link so that's it before wasting much time let's start so in today's video i wanted to show you something very interesting statistics uh, regarding uh, inflation and usd inr so you know how the usd inr so how the exchange rate that indian rupees has moved uh, against uh, us dollar over last five years in different phases and corresponding to that how the stock market has behaved okay what kind of returns are the stock market uh, nifty 50 particularly stock market means indian uh, that uh, indian stock exchange nifty 50 uh, we are talking about and also you know with the vis-a-vis -vis, uh, inflation so I would suggest now let us, uh, you know, start with, uh, I will show you some charts so that uh, you, it will make it uh, more interesting and more easier to understand. see yeah yeah okay so let's first see this what was the inflation so this is the Indian inflation from last five years so as you can see that this inflation from 2017 January you can see this is the 2017 it was around 4% it continuously dropped down up to say 2018 this is the 2018 starting up to january so one year from four percent to less than two percent it went down and correspondingly if you look at uh, now the usd inr how the rupee behaved so it is interesting If you look at this, this is from January till this is the June 2018. This is 2017 to 2018. You can see that rupee appreciated by 12% almost from 68.27 to 63.5. This is 12%. And correspondingly, if you look at how the behavior of stock Nifty 50 was, you can see that 
it went up by almost 32 percent during the same time from 7700 from around 8000 say 8000 to 11000 almost you know if we took it the january then it will be like 10,800 something. So 32 percent. So this is a kind of a now you look at the second phase that is from 2018 to, to October 2000 and from the January 2018 to October 2018. Look at how this is how this is. Look at this inflation from less than 2 percent it shot up to almost like five and a half percent. You can see this. This is the moment. Less than 2% to short up by almost. Now look at Indian USD INR. This is the journey of INR USD. To it depreciated, means rupee depreciated by 12% from. 63 around 63 and a half to almost like 74 75 74 and a half you can see and look at the what is the nifty 50 during this time happened mm, it remained flat actually it nothing did much between this period october okay it remained like nothing else now look at the third phase from 2019 july You know, this 2019 July to up to April 2020, you know, when the crash, you know, uh, this COVID started and all these things. So, this is from July 2019, if you can see, you know, it is like this is the 19, so from here onwards. So, it started you know slowly slowly from 2% it went up to this inflation I'm talking about this is the inflation chart it went up to as you can see the top peak of almost touching 8% means 7.7% .7 around in April 2020 and look at what the Indian rupee did in the same time this is INR against USD so this went up to this from October, you know, this December. You can see this is the zoomed off from 70 around to peak of 76.5. This is what it happened during that time, 76.2. So, appreci depreciated by almost like 12%. Sorry, this is the July 2019. So, from 68.8 to 76.2 means the depreciation, iron are depreciated by almost like 12%. And look at what happened to the Nifty as we know all these things that Nifty crashed, right? from this September or the July 2019 to it nifty crashed to 7700 something in April because of COVID and whatever it is but I am just trying to hear we are trying to correlate that USD INR with inflation and the market and how market behaves the same now if we look at from April 2020 to till October 2019 so look at what is this this is april 2020 so october this is like here you know this here something so from something like you know six and a half percent the inflation is remaining around you know above four percent you know it went up it between fluctuated because because still this covid kind of thing since two years it's a a very unique kind of a, a concept uh, yeah it's not uh, normal so what happened to the usd INR? 
also it you know just remaining in this range of 76 to 73 76 and 73 then look at what is the market market gave fantastic returns of 132 percent from 7700 to it is almost 18,300 nifty 50 but look at now in last two three months how the market is behaving and look at how and what i'm trying to show you is that now you look at this inflation curve as you can see this inflation curve right you can see this this is started to moving up inching up in last two months you know it was this four it was four point something it is almost you know four and a half five percent it has reached it will the way all this prices and everything and oil and everything is remaining and with again now the covid coming uh, the supply disruptions will be there again some lockdowns and so activities will be restricted even if not lockdown but uh, there will still be so that is where that uh, when supply is not in uh, consonance with the demand you will see that again that inflation is anyway going to inch up so once this happens this is already started from from four percent to five percent around it is already and look at this interesting is INR you see now I would like to show you some very interesting chart pattern of this because these are chart patterns this is fundamental in the sense it's a it's mostly this currency is like chart technical look at this this is made a perfect U shape means here it was a double bottom here this and this and then it went up this INR so from 63 to it zoomed off to 68 in less than uh, you know seven eight months so less than a year basically in eight nine months so almost like 12 percent of depreciation now if you look at the same way here i think this is forming like you you see this this is forming you this is the double top and this is where the double bottom had happened so now we are in this if we relate this chart to this recent now phenomena is current phenomena is that it is here it has made like double bottom and you see this is the place where it made double bottom 72.62 72.62 after that it is going above inching slowly slowly above only so this is if we, it is going to replicate this kind of this is what my assumption is that this is not going to stay like this is going to replicate exactly the same pattern the double bottom and it will zoom off so from this bottom if you take around 12 percent generally it has moved that it depreciates by 12 percent and appreciates by 7 percent this is what as i showed you in last uh, part wise phenomena of last five years so if we take this as the bottom 72.5 and take that from here it can depreciate by 12 percent market can depreciate by you know nifty can go down by 30 percent if we say take the same uh, correlation i am not saying that this is a very right approach or uh, this is a perfect uh, statistical but i am just trying to show and this is my uh, based on this my experience and all the things which i am trying to tell you but at least there is a some fundamental statistical basis is there is there for the rupee to depreciate uh, that's what i am trying to and once uh, rupee depreciates and you will see that even uh, nifty 50 will uh, depreciate already from october to now almost more than uh, six and a half billion dollar has been withdrawn by this uh, fis from the indian market so this is when double bottom 72.5 it can go to say 80 81 easily yeah, rupee can depreciate to 80 81 against dollar so if that happens what can be the phenomena of this this can you know if it took to top as 18,300 from there it can come down to say even if it comes down to say 25 percent 30 percent it is easily like as we told that this is the 14,500 we have we had given even two months before this uh, projection so now we again reaffirming that nifty will reach by april and uh, our uh, us dollar also will uh, uh, INR will reach uh, 7980 by April and by that time we will see the market also 14,500 
this is the kind of uh, fan i wanted to yeah. just so i wanted to discuss this uh, and that you can be careful still it is like this way the market is going to be uh, why i wanted to show you this charts and uh, this statistics is that that central bank that is uh, reserve bank of india can continue to look other way when the inflation is going up and not increase the interest rates but it is its own way natural way of economics says its own way of adjusting so it will adjust in inr in currency by depreciation of currency automatically it will happen so either you rbi can take proactive action and increase the interest rates and also give a bottom to this inr or uh, so that way also the market will correct or if it doesn't give a bottom to this inr inr on its own indian rupee will depreciate uh, uh, because it's part of the economics is that either you know you increase uh, interest rates uh, to correct to uh, to control inflation or uh, inflation will be any case it will be manifested in terms of the depreciation of indian rupee against usd so this is what i wanted to just show you and discuss that's it uh, and uh, wish you all of you a very happy coming new year 2022 wish that it brings happiness success and health good health to all of you and that's it from my side we will see you once again next week with some other interesting unique idea and uh, unique uh, about the market prediction projections till then ciao from neeraj from moscow and love you all